everyone. It's Linda. I'm coming out of a timeout, I hope, so I'm going to try to upload this video and see if YouTube's gotten me out of my timeout or whatever they had going on. So last week I had, last weekend I was trying to upload videos. Um, it was just a, a card reading, but I did a little commentary before it because the card reading had to do with abundance, prosperity packages, uh, the revaluation, um, the RV, that it, also known as the RV, abundance for everybody, things that are coming, uh, that are happening, information that I was getting. So I guess that information wasn't supposed to go out through me. It's not like I have a huge following, but I think what happened was um, the title of the video or something in the description box or something triggered it. So videos after that also must have been flagged because I couldn't upload anything. They just kept hanging at the same number and it would stop for hours. So I, I just gave up after the second one, said, you know what? You're putting me in timeout. I'm putting you in a timeout. YouTube, I'm putting you on a timeout. <laughs> so that's what I did. And it's been a, a good, healthy thing to do, to detach from social media, from other people around, um, you know, other messages and things like that, because I needed to, you know, recenter, refocus myself, gathering my own connection, thoughts, energies, you know, everything, pulling back. That's something everybody can do too is, and I was just teaching this the other day, pulling back your energy from all sources where it was taken willingly, consciously or unwillingly or unconsciously, calling all of your energy back to your field and also sending back with love and light and gratitude. Remember that it's important sending back everybody else's energy that you have stolen willingly or unwillingly, consciously or unconsciously. Send it all back. It just does not belong to you. It is not yours in your field. Um, and you don't want anybody holding on to your energy. So send everything back that doesn't belong to you and call and reclaim all fragments and all pieces and fractiles of energy that is yours. Call it back to your field know that that you are in fact doing this as a loving service to humanity so you're not only setting yourself free you're setting other people free so um and it, it's not just um not just entrapments of enslaving people if you're consciously empowering them we do it all the time to each other unconsciously so when you can set people free if you are if you um, did or said or anything to hurt anybody, and I just had a little reminder this morning of how I traumatized one of my cats, not not knowingly shutting a door on him. And it's like, no wonder he has this weird thing when you go to touch his side and, you know, he's not hurt, he's traumatized. It's, it's like an emotional thing. And, you know, we scar, I talked about this in a previous video, I think it was um, in the middle of February, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it was, um, it was about releasing core wounds. It was in the middle of February sometime. There was a lot of intense, intense energies coming through and those energies were helping people in the collective to release core wounds the ones that hurt the most from people that gave it to us that meant the most to us. So the people that are closest to us, you tend to be the ones that hurt us the most. And in forgiving them, it's not something you have to verbalize to them. It's something you do internally so that you can free yourself. But in freeing yourself, you find more love so that you can free other people. If anyone has a cord um, and they're sucking your energy or they call you every day for advice about the drama going on in their life and they're not respecting your boundaries, you can intentionally and with love cut the cords, send it back to them and then hold the, uh, to, uh, hold the line. Hold the line. So um, you can do this 
We're all meant to do this. We're freeing other people as we're freeing ourselves. These waves are incredible. There's going to be more coming in through the month, but another big rollout in the beginning of July. This is just something that is has been building up to is going to happen. And um, you'll start noticing probably in your dream time, if you're paying attention, I wanted to touch on this really quick, that uh, pieces of yourself are going to be coming back to you in dream time. And it might come back to you, like say in the form of a power animal, you may see an animal that you feel in your heart's been missing a long, long, long time and you might have forgotten. All of a sudden, the animal will come rushing towards you and, and just merge with you. So you're going to start to see things like this. You're going to start to have some really cool um, dream awakening experiences. And this is going to be true more and more across the board for everybody. So just um, keep going. Rest when you need to. Drink plenty of water and um you know get off of social media <laughs> take a little break there's a lot going on in your life and um, i'm sure you are finding that happy balance because we all are follow your guidance all will be well all is being revealed to everyone in due time it's happening it's happening across the planet so just have faith trust that this really is real and we're all heading to the place where we need to be. So love you guys. Talk to you soon.